beliefs, choices, results. That's the way that it works. If you get crap results, it's because you make crap choices and you make crap choices based on a dumb, outdated belief system that doesn't serve you. Got a crazy video for you today. She's not yours, it's just your turn. A woman should be a compliment to your life, not the focus. Do the work. Women do not care about your struggles. They hang out at the finish line and they pick the winners. What's up, my brothers from another mother. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about why women cheat. I had a few guys over the last few months ask me to specifically do a video and I have an endless supply of emails from people and DMs. Why did my girlfriend cheat on me? Insert scenario and then insert excuse. So let's uh, hop right into it and uh, enlighten some of you folks that have been uh, sitting in the dark perhaps. Uh, this should be quite useful for you. Um, women cheat simply because um, of hypergamy. And all that really boils down to what is hypergamy you're asking. There's a card up on the top right. You should watch that video afterwards. But quickly defined, it is women's need to always uh, achieve the best deal they can get. Hypergamy constantly has women asking themselves, is this the best I can do? And that's really what it boils down to. And a lot of guys think that they can isolate themselves from hypergamy just by uh, getting married or by uh, putting in loads into the relationship, what we like to call relationship equity. And that's not true. Any guy that's had uh, his heart broken, his wife cheat on him, uh, run off on him, uh, you know, bang Steve from accounting or Kevin from sales, knows exactly what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, of course, you're going to have the white knights and, you know, the feminist pile in right now. Well, men do it too. That's not what we're talking about. Women cheat for different reasons than men. I want to focus this video specifically on uh, the dry, like what the engine is behind the action. So, so there's a lot more uh, clarity for you guys, if you will. Uh, all that hypergamy, hypergamy, you guys always question my pronunciation. All that it really is, is women constantly wanting to make sure they have the best deal they can possibly get. Now, there's caveats, there's like little footnotes to this whole notion. And, um, I'll, you know, I'll give you a really good ex example. I knew this, um, I knew this guy, well, not him, but through a woman that I was dating, her best friend was always complaining about her husband locking himself up in the room. Uh, he was constantly depressed, uh, taking a load of time off work, always complaining about the guy and constantly threatening divorce, but would never leave him. And if you took one look at her, you would know why it's because of options. Um, Hypergamy is there. It's, it's, it's always hardwired into the feminine imperative. It's there for a reason. It's so that um, it's really a survival mechanism, right? You know, men are the bigger, stronger, more aggressive, less agreeable um, sex. And women are more the softer, kinder sort of uh, caring and nurturing sort of sex. And for women to be successful with their children, it was always imperative throughout history, through evolution, for them to pair bond uh, with the best provisioning male they could get. That that doesn't necessarily always mean that it's the child's father. It doesn't always mean that she's gonna stay with you just because you have children with her. Some guy's sexual strategy is put a baby in her and that'll keep her around. And they've seen how well that that works out for them. So I think it's incredibly important to note that um, that doesn't solve anything. Getting married doesn't solve anything. You know, there's all these buffers that guys like to have. Um, I moved her into my house. I bought her the diamond ring that she want. I moved across the country to take um, whatever major she was taking at her university or, or college. You know, the list is endless. You know, I renovated the bathroom the way that she wanted to. I uh, finished the basement so I can move her, you know, her mom in and blah, 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 blah. And they think that, you know, because we do all these things that we, you know, invest into the relationship or we put relationship equity into what it is uh, that, you know, we think that we have, that that's a security blanket and it's some, you know, some form of buffer. Um, there was a study that was updated recently and um, women acknowledge that 50% uh, of them, it used to be 42%, it's now about 50% have a backup plan. Doesn't mean they're cheating, but they have a backup plan guy that they can monkey branch over to and if you're newer to the channel, that means, you know, leaving one guy and swinging over to a better deal sort of thing. That's all that is. Um, but half of women admit to having a backup plan that they can move to should their husband, boyfriend, friends with benefits, whatever it is, doesn't work out. Whatever the, you know, definition of their current relationship might be. Uh, but that's 50% of women that admit to having a backup plan. Every woman is hypergamous 
and they will always monkey branch out to a better deal if they can get it, if their guy is no longer the best deal that they can get. Let me go back to the story of the guy that locked in his room. So she didn't go anywhere, again, because her sexual marketplace value, her SMV, was in the toilet. It was, it was, it was gone. Um, packed on tons of weight, very unattractive, dressed poorly, terrible job, made almost no money, constantly fighting, uh, very disagreeable. You know, kids in tow, obviously, because, you know, they were married. They had a couple kids. And um, <clears throat> she didn't have the option to leave. If a woman has the option to leave and her sexual marketplace value is high enough, she will cheat. She will find a better deal and she will leave any guy that she deems to be a loser. You know, women are funny. Um, I said this earlier this week on Twitter um, because they'll demand... Uh, we must be more caring and loving and tax the rich and better social programs and open borders and more immigration and blah, 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 blah. Long list, right? They have a long list of uh, requirements that they expect of society and men to placate their whims. Uh, but then in the next breath is, you must be at least six feet tall to get on this ride. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Um, like... You have to watch what women respond to. That's where guys go incredibly wrong, where they keep asking, why do women cheat? Why did she cheat on me? Why was she banging Kevin from sales? She left me and took the kids, and all I watch now is my money flow to her, and I'm alienated. I don't see my children. I live in my parents' basement. All right, part for the course, guys. You have to get it through your head that the narrative that you were sold, the lie that you were sold growing up, is function through things like Disney movies, religion, family, uh, media, sitcom TV shows, you know, films, you know, from Hollywood, most of them have all lied to you and, and given you this narrative, you know, this rom-com narrative of, uh, you know, freaking, you know, just be a good guy and wife her up and, you know, uh, happy wife, happy life. Well, anybody that's heard that, you know, those sets of lyrics that hasn't got a good set of results out of it knows exactly what I'm talking about right now because you've lived it and you're hopefully getting some answers out of this video. So gentlemen, it is incredibly important for you to acknowledge that her actions always express her priorities. So many dudes are pining for women that left them and they'll do anything. They'll get down on a knee. They'll send flowers and letters and notes and like nothing dries up women more than stuff like that than a guy that has no options. Nothing turns her off more than a guy that bends the knee to her all the time. But that's what we've been told, right? We've been told by society to, you know, be less so she can become more. And this isn't a video to uh, disparage women or disparage men or any of those things. All I do, fellas, is I just point to the cold hard truth and the facts and the reality of the sexual marketplace. I mean, for crying out loud, 600 videos in, I've got a massive community of guys in my 1% that's really doing hardcore work on themselves. There's, there's too many dudes out there today still that subscribe to a fairy tale myth and belief system that gets some terrible results. I've talked about belief systems before. Let me touch on it again real quick. Belief system comes from your gut, from your hardwiring. It's basically the operating software that you use that governs um, your decision-making process, okay? That's all that it is. And if your belief system, I can always tell what somebody's belief system looks like because all I gotta do is look at the results, right? Women constantly leave them. They do terrible in a sexual marketplace. They're broke. I can always look at the results and know what their beliefs are. It's just reverse engineering, right? Beliefs choices, results. That's the way that it works. If you get crap results, it's because you make crap choices and you make crap choices based on a dumb, outdated belief system that doesn't serve you. So gentlemen, it is time for you to update your belief system because if you're going around on YouTube or Google's and searching for how do I, um, how do I get her back or why did she leave me or I'm confused as to, um, you know, why she behaved this, this way or that way. And there's, there's so many notions and, uh, lies man you know one of the biggest ones that I want to touch on before I wrap up on this video is the buffer that a lot of guys um, you know subscribe to when it comes to things like religion I've always got some blue pill plugged in white knight beta in my comments on a social post when I'm when I'm exposing some cold hard truth about the sexual marketplace going well what you have to do is you have to move to this state and there's more this religious women and you wife one of those up and find one that's a virgin blah 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 <laughs> That's a great one. I saw this, um, I saw this uh, interview piece the other day about Mormon culture, I think it's in Utah, and um, they have this thing called soaking. 
So let's talk about, you know, these virgin uh, religious women that this guy's telling you to wife up. Uh, they have this thing called soaking. And if anybody's got half a brain in their head with an IQ, they know that uh, once a woman has sex, once there's an insertion, virginity is lost. But they have this uh, excuse, you know, humans like to complicate their lives and then justify why they do it. They have this excuse called soaking, which apparently, as this was news, news to me, you put it in and you don't move. There's no pump in, there's nothing. It's just, you just, they just soak is what they call it. So apparently that, that circumvents the religious need to be a virgin because the definition that these kids are using to define losing their virginity is actual pumping action. Okay. So every other hole is game plus soaking. So this is the logic that they use. But if these chicks have, you know, soaked with 20 guys, you think they're a virgin? You know, you think that just because they subscribe to a certain religious belief system that they are never going to leave you. I've talked to a lot of guys. I've coached hundreds of men now and I've talked to a lot of guys. I talked to a guy the other week that wifed up a religious girl, uh, conservative values, intact family, not, you know, parents were never divorced, uh, you know, good siblings, this, that and the other thing. But because his sexual marketplace value declined, let's say she was a seven when they got married and he was a nine, hypergamy needs to get uh, to a higher level than where it's at. It's only happy if it's with um, somebody of greater value than itself. That's why you see the $30,000 a year hairdresser marry the $200,000 a year VP of accounting, Kevin from sales, or you know, Steve from uh, accounting actually, sorry. I keep getting those two guys mixed up. They're all over the place, Kevin and Steve. So. The whole point of that is, guys, is that is not a buffer. This this woman was divorcing him, taking the kids. She filed a false domestic violence claim against him to get him out of the house. He'd had no access to the kids, which gave her full control of the divorce process. And this was a good religious woman from a good, you know, background, conservative values, intact family, no divorce, good siblings, you know, doing the right thing. But guess what? Because his SMV declined because he wasn't able to hold down a job because he wasn't chasing excellence. She bounced on him and she utilized every tool in the toolbox to optimize her hypergamy on the divorce on the exit. So gentlemen, it's incredibly important to unplug from, you know, from the lies and from the things that don't serve you. Watch what women respond to guys. At the very least, if you take anything from this video, watch what everybody, men and women, what happens in business transactions with your employer, with your coworkers, with women on the sexual marketplace, watch what people respond to. Don't listen to what they say. Watch what they respond to and what their behaviors are. If there's a conflict between her behavior and the choices that she makes every day, you must, in all circumstances, without a doubt, believe the behavior, all right? Now, there's gonna be some slides after the end of this video. Check them out if you're interested in some more information or coaching or you wanna get in my men's community. Make sure that you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Am I right, am I wrong? You wanna challenge something? Uh, give it a thumbs up. And gentlemen, if there's anybody that needs to see this video that's going through heartbreak or wondering why they got cheated on or anything around that narrative, share it with them. You know, at the very least, if you got some value out of this video, show it to them and let them know what, what's up. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, brothers, hope you enjoyed that video. Before you go, there's some important links that I want to go over with you. Just beneath the Teespring merch store over here, if you scroll down to the top comment, it's always pinned by me. You can expand by clicking the read more button and there's a bunch of useful links. I'm going to go over just the three main ones with you. The first one is a lot of guys are often asking me about how do I network with other red pill guys? How do I find other guys that I can help level up that are chasing excellence in life and not women and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's it. That's my men's community. So if you click through to that card up on the top right, you'll get over to entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash community. There's a video there that explains exactly how it all works and what the perks are and a bunch of useful information beneath that. So check that out. Uh, the next link that I want to go over with you is my clarity.fm link. Again, that's also pinned in the top description where it says get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. A lot of you guys send me messages. I'm stuck on this. How do I get out of this problem? I'm going through divorce. What's the solution? My business startup question is this. Well, there's a link over there. You click that top right of the screen 
hit it and you're going to come through to this page where you can book me for a call. It's billed by the minute so we can go as long or as short as you need to. Most people seem to book like a 15 minute call and we'll go 15 to 30 minutes or so. But take a look at all the reviews. Most of the stuff that I help out with tends to revolve around either dating advice or surviving divorce. I also do entrepreneurship coaching as well, men's high performance coach stuff. So check it out. Reviews are all five star. I've done a ton of these calls. We're getting close to 400 now. So consider that if you need help with something you're stuck on and you're serious about getting unstuck. The last one is the Grondike Soap Company, which by the way, gentlemen, is a proud channel sp sponsor. Scott's been a great supporter of the creation of content on this channel. Most of you don't know this, but many of my videos get demonetized or only run limited ads. So Scott helps out a ton. You're showering anyway, so why not buy handmade soap? from a sponsor that supports the creation of my content. When you check out with coupon code COOPER, you'll get 10% off. It is pheromone infused soap. You're gonna click this link over here and land on the Grondike page. And they've got some great value packs. Obviously, the more you buy, the deeper the discount. But when you check out, make sure you check out with coupon code COOPER and you'll get that discount at the checkout tilt. Again, thanks for watching the content today. Make sure you hit subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.